ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 55th annual meeting of the Board of Governors of the Asian Development Bank. Please rise and join me in welcoming our guest of honor. His Excellency, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcus Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines. Accompanied by His Excellency, President Renil Wickremesinghe, President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka and Chair of the Board of Governors. His Excellency, Dalton Emani Makamau Tegaliki, Premier of Nguyen. And Mr. Masatsugu Asakawa, President of the Asian Development Bank. Honorable Executive Secretary, Lucas Bersami. Honorable Benjamin Jokno, Secretary of Finance of the Philippines. Honorable Antonio Lagdameo Jr., Special Assistant to the President and Mr. Mohammed Essen Khan, the Secretary of the Asian Development Bank. Good afternoon, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. May we invite Mr. Masatsugu Asakawa, President of the Asian Development Bank, to give his welcome remarks. Your Excellency, uh, President uh, Ferdinand Marcos Jr., Your Excellency Rami Ukramasinha, President of the Democratic uh, Socialist uh, Republic of Sri Lanka and Chair of the ADB Board of Governors, Your Excellency Doroton Emani Makamal Tangiraji, Premier of New Wave and ADB Governor for New Wave, Honorable Benjamin Adiokino, Secretary of Finance and ADB Governor for the Philippines. Governors and delegates, are your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today at this special uh, luncheon for the 55th annual meeting of the Board of Governors of the Asian Development Bank. I am very honored by your presence here in the Philippines. Governors, later this afternoon, I will present to you ADB's management report 
at the governor's business session. Uh, let me take a moment here to express my gratitude to your service on, your, on our board and your support for ADB. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege uh, to welcome our guest of honor, His Excellency President Ferdinand Marcos, Jr., the President of the Republic of the Philippines. The Philippines and the ADB have a special bond. The Philippines have served as our host country uh, since 1966. In the time, uh, the government and the Filipino people have shown ADB only the warmest, warmest hospitality. Our partnership with the Philippines has also been strong over the decades. We have worked together to build infrastructure, improve education, and provide health care in the countryside. We have supported public-private partnerships, PPP, provided emergency assistance for disasters triggered by natural hazards, and confronted the COVID-19 pandemic. ADB's first ever policy-based loan on climate change for ADB was developed with the Philippines and announced this year, quite recently. Our single largest infrastructure financing project in ADB's history is also being implemented here in the Philippines. The South Commuter Railway Project, which is part of the North-South Commuter Railway Network. Mr. President, we are proud of our partnership with the Philippines, and we look forward to our continued work together. Your Excellencies, the past two years have been some of the most challenging in our re region and the world. I assure you that ADB will remain a steadfast partner as we build for a stronger future for the people of Asia and the Pacific. Thank you for your patience. Thank you, President Asakawa. May we invite His Excellency, President Raniel Wickremesinghe, President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka and Chair of the Board of Governors to give his remarks. Yeah. Excellency, President Marcos, the Prime Minister Onoy, the President of the Asian Development Bank, fellow governors and friends. This function should have been in Sri Lanka. Somewhere in 2008, 2018, when as the Prime Minister, we agreed to host the meeting in Colombo. But events intervened. Firstly, it was the COVID pandemic. And then uh, we decided in our wisdom that we will do, as far as our economic policies were concerned, that we will do a test run for the United Kingdom. And with our success, it has been followed last week. Nevertheless, the situation that arose in the country and the instability prevented us from hosting you all on this occasion. So I must first thank President Marcos for taking over the responsibility at a very short notice. Thank you. Without you, we would have been stranded. So my duty now is to invite President Marcos to address us. Thank you. Thank you, President Vikramasinghe. May we now invite Honorable Executive Secretary Lucas Persamin to introduce our guest of honor. <clears throat> Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr. Uh, thank you very much, uh, 
uh, our Executive Secretary, Lucas uh, Bersamin, His Excellency President uh, Ranil Wicke, we, I have to get this, uh, I have to get this right. Uh, Vikram Isingi of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. His Excellency Premier Dalton Emani Makamu Tagilagi of Tuwil. Uh, the Asian Development Bank President and, and the uh, Board of Governors, Finance Secretary uh, Ben Jokno, the uh, other members of the uh, economic team within the uh, cabinet of uh, the Philippines. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good afternoon. It is uh, a wonderful opportunity to be in the midst now of the thinkers and the doers who will shape the future of our world as we navigate ourselves into the new normal. I am pleased to be here with you today to discuss the various issues of interest, not only for the Philippines, but also for the rest of Asia and the Asia-Pacific region. Uh, the partnerships, once again, that we will forge in these talks that we will be having after two and a half years um, of uh, virtual meetings, I think, uh, will really be lighting the way uh, of what we are going to have to face in the near future as we navigate the, our way towards the new post-pandemic global economy. And so it is a delight to see so many new and familiar faces representing the various sectors coming together to collaborate and work for a greener, more resilient future that is progressive and that is inclusive. Since its inception, the Asian Development Bank has been a reliable institution in providing loans, technical assistance, equity investments to its members in order to promote social and economic development. And of course, we must always acknowledge the ADB for being the steadfast partner in achieving Philippines' development goals. As president, it is certainly my duty to ensure that the government remains committed in the efficient and effective utilization of this institution's assistance for the full benefit of all Filipinos. This year's theme certainly captures the necessary approach we take in charting the unknown waters of a post-pandemic world. While many things remain uncertain, one thing is for sure. We can no longer return to the way things were. It is time for us to work together to bring about an even better normal. I believe that at the heart of this goal is in the way that we must develop an economy that is green, that is sustainable, truly climate resilient and responsive to people's immediate needs. It is an economy that takes into account the ecosystem from which we harness our resources. And what other international institution in our, on our shores comes to mind that does that support better than the ADB? At the onset of the pandemic, we witnessed the ADB's efforts and initiatives to mitigate the effects of COVID-19. In fact, it was ADB that was uh, one of the first institutions to provide assistance with the grant of three million U.S. dollars for the purchase of medical supplies for frontline health workers. And on behalf of the Filipino people, I thank you for that. We also recognize ADB for allowing us to access the CARES program, a quick disbursing budget support facility to aid countries in mitigating the severe economic shocks caused by the pandemic. Moreover, I am pleased to note that we share the same vision of building a brighter and more resilient future. It is through the bank's assistance that we were able to push forward with projects in areas such as infrastructure, social reform and community development, in governments and institutions development, all of which are consistent with this administration's eight-point socioeconomic agenda. As such, 
Our shared goals will only bring us closer together to nurture our bonds and foster hope in the communities that we serve. I am truly excited to see the outcome of this meeting as we set sail towards a better tomorrow that is more resilient, more inclusive, more sensitive to our people's needs, and more aware of climate change and the crisis that it brings with it. As President, I will assure that the government's relationship with the ADB can only go stronger in the years to come. Harnessing mutual cooperation to nurture development here in our country together with our partners around the world and in the region. This way, we will become living witnesses to the better world that we have worked hard, not only for ourselves and our communities, but also for the generations to come. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Marami pong salamat at magandang hapon po. Thank you, President Marcos. This concludes our program for this afternoon. We would like to invite President Marcos for lunch. Please enjoy. <laughs>